Hey guys, James Strong here with Strong Fire Fitness, your online personal training solution. Um, <laughs> wow, that seemed pretty cheesy. So, <clears throat> hey, um, I've been getting a lot of different questions from the website. If you guys have not had a chance to see it, um, go ahead and, and check out our YouTube channel as well as our website. There, there's a, a video on there that shows my story about how I got to, to where I'm, I am currently. Um, but <clears throat> tonight I just want to talk about a couple different topics. Um, first and foremost, your BMR, and secondly, your TDEE, and why these two things are important. Now, um, BMR, not BMI, BMI is, is something else. BMR is your basal metabolic rate. So basically, your BMR is how many calories your body burns uh, just laying there, just in like a comatose state. If you weren't doing anything, this is how many calories your body burns. It's also the minimum amount of calories your body needs to function. And I'll explain here in a second why that's important. There's numerous ways to calculate BMR. If you just Googled BMR calculator, uh, a bunch of different sites are going to pop up. And so basically, they're going to use your age, your height, and your weight to try to figure out your BMR. Uh, secondly, the other number that's important with your BMR is called your TDEE. Now, that stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure. If your BMR is how many calories you burn in a comatose state, your TDE is how many calories you actually burn. So we take your BMR and we multiply it by a particular factor, whether it's 1.2 if, you, if you're very sedentary, or if it's 1.9 if you're super, super active. And so we end up creating two different numbers. This is how many calories I burn based on how active I am. This is how many calories I need to, uh, or this is how many calories I burn in a comatose state. Now both of these are important because if I eat above my TDEE, I will gain weight. If I eat below my BMR, anytime you eat below the necessary caloric intake that your body needs just to function, you run a risk of burning out your hormones, getting sick, burning muscle. Uh, you're definitely not going to burn fat, or, or at least not in the, not for a while. Um, your body's going to hold on to the fat because uh, it sees you you as in a it, almost like an emergency mode, and so. Um, in any case, those are the two topics I want to talk about, TDEE and BMR. Almost everybody that I talk to that is in a plateau, I'll ask them, I say, hey, have, do you know what your BMR is? Do you know what your TDEE is? And you guessed it, um, nobody knows what those things are. It, certainly not the people that are stuck in a plateau. And so um, that's where I would start if I was you and I was stuck in a plateau, and I was, right, I was, I was there. Uh, I would start there to figure out where to go. And, and that's really the difference between taking a shotgun approach at what you should be eating and taking a sniper uh, specific approach at what you should be eating. So those are my two cents. Uh, in the coming weeks, we're going to talk about macronutrient ratios. Who knows what the heck that is, right? Um, we're also going to be talking about um, how much protein and carbohydrates you should be eating, what should your, your caloric numbers be, um, and, and a few other different things. If you have any questions, please email me at my website. Um, the information will be there at the bottom of the screen. And uh, I'd be happy to try to answer some of these questions through email. Or if I get enough of the same question, I'll, I'll answer them here through the YouTube channel. So in any case, have a great night. And I wish you guys the best with your health goals. Thanks.